And welcome to your Go Market update and charts of the day on Thursday, the 2nd of March. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Choppy session overnight in the US markets, which had a mixed outcome with the Dow, the only major index to close positively. Markets a little spooked in the US by US 10 year bond yields, testing 4% intraday. However, despite this, we're seeing a little bounce in Asia. Not only with the US futures mildly higher, but also Asian indices are ignoring that relatively weak US lead and generally higher. The ASX is up around 0.4%. European equity futures are pointing to a cautious open, but those have moved up as well since Asian open. The VIX is trading around that key 20 level. The US dollar index dropped below that 200 EMA, looking a little weaker again today although it is early gold moved up towards 1840 that looks as though it may be tested and copper is nearing the key 420 level after another positive day oil also moved higher it's back to 85 but continues in that range that we've been talking about for some time now bitcoin also had a positive session moving back up above that 200 ema in the overnight trading and of course earnings season continues on the asx Today, we have Eurozone CPI and US weekly jobs the data highlights. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, first is the Aussie US. We actually reported on this yesterday. You can see this really nice V shape that's developing on the Aussie US after a bounce off around about this 67 level. So we're now above this key 67.54. Look at those. There's some buying pressure coming in this morning. If we pop it on the hourly chart, possibly the higher probability trade would be if it breached yesterday's high, which is around about 67.79. So really, if we breach that, then we could be up up and away towards uh, 69, potentially, ultimately, if we do get some further weakness in the USD. On the ASX, we're liking Mount Gibson Iron. You can see, again, a really nice bounce after this pullback throughout February, really. Uh, but this is a strong candle and this looks as though it could be heading higher with some velocity. 60 cents is where it's at in terms of a key technical level to keep an eye on. If it breaches that, then we could be up towards the highs we hit in January around about 69, which is about 12 percent up from where we are now. So I'm worth keeping an eye on, if not today, then tomorrow. But at this stage, the buyers are in control. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.